deadly riot over the government's plan to avoid defaulting on its loans. Is that the unemployment keeps rising and it has to keep rising just because we, we have an excess so much supply so of goods, which is this is all borrowed money that our and that kids debt is owing by banks in other countries. Modern psychology has a word that is probably used more than any other word in psychology. It is a word maladjusted. Maladjusted. I would like to say to you today that there are some things in our society and some things in our world for which I'm proud to be maladjusted. And I call upon all men of goodwill to be maladjusted to these things until the good society is realized. You know, economists are in fact not economists at all. They're propagandists of money value. This system is more wasteful than all the other existing systems in the history of the planet. So you're really dealing with not an economic system, but I would go so far as to say an anti-economic system. The problem we have is essentially the financial money sequence system. It's a system disorder, and the system disorder seems to be fatal. There is no profit under the current paradigm in saving lives, putting balance on this planet, having justice and peace or anything else. Disease supports medicine. It supports doctors and hospitals. But if you really were able to eliminate most diseases, you would eliminate professions as well. You have to create problems to create profit. Crime does create business. We have now roughly two million people incarcerated in this country. Many of them are in prisons run by private corporations who trade their stock on Wall Street based upon how many people are in jail. But that's a reflection of the culture in which we live, in which we've all, to one degree or another, endorsed. I think the biggest barrier would be the values that people are taught to uphold that system. At the social level of life organization, it isn't a genetic program or a genetic defect. It's a value system a disorder. What you have to understand is that the intellectual culture of society actually reflects the power interests in that society, the dominant perspective. In the past, throughout almost all of human history, the main threat to human survival was nature. Today, it is culture. Not only does structural violence kill more people than all the behavioral violence put together, structural violence is also the main cause of behavioral violence. Some colleagues at Harvard studying this suggested that inequality acted as a social pollutant because it affects uh, almost everyone in society. The immune system cannot recognize the invasive cancer and it takes over the whole body until the body collapses. And we're in that uh, spasming, collapsing form now. So the system has to be corrected, not print more money and give it to banks. That doesn't deal with the problem. Every level of life organization and life system is in a state of crisis and challenge and decay or collapse. The problems that we have today will continue to go on. This will never go away within a monetary system. It's clear that we're on the verge of a great transition in human life. That what we face now is this fundamental change of the life we've known over the last century. There has to be a link between the economy and the resources of this planet. The resources being, of course, all animal and plant life, the health of the oceans and everything else. This is a monetary paradigm that will not let go until it's killed the last human being. The in-group will do all it can to stay in power. And that's what you got to keep in mind. They'll use the army and navy and lies or whatever they have to use to keep in power. They're not about to give it up because they don't know of any other system that will perpetuate their kind.